Epimaco Velasco first served as a helper in the city court of Manila from 1955 to 1962 while studying. He finished his college at the Lyceum of the Philippines with a Bachelor of Laws, 1960. A virtuous man dedicated to duty, Epimaco A. Velasco rose from the ranks to become one of the most admired directors of the National Bureau of Investigation. Two years after, he entered the NBI and became an NBI agent. As an agent, he worked hard to solve many baffling cases. In 1988, he became the assistant director of the department, and in 1992, he finally became the director of the department. As bureau chief, he spearheaded the NBI in its quest to solve crimes and at the same time, curb corruption among its ranks. In one scene, a notorious gang of men kidnapped a girl bringing her to the cemetery. She was forced to undress and made to dance in front of them. The men eventually violated her. In another scene, the same group of men came to ask for the weekly dues of an actress. But the woman begs the men if she can pay next weekend. The men instead are taking her as payment not settled thereby, forcing her to come with them. But, a co-actor Jess Lapid intervenes and helped the girl. This prompted the men to threaten Jess. In a club, the men and Jess Lapid met. The men invited Jess to their table the latter refused. One of the men insisted not knowing the men would sinisterly shoot and eventually kill him. Epimaco Velasco with his men the NBI, made a follow-up operation on the case. The big four were arrested. In another case, a fugitive Nardong Pudic, and his men continued to instill terror in Cavite. Among the cases he was involved in were the illegal cultivation of marijuana and money extortion activities. On February 10, 1971, the National Bureau of Investigation's Narcotics Division surveyed a marijuana plantation in Emis Cavite, allegedly being protected by Pudic. Two NBI agents, Rogelio Domingo, and Antonio Dayao were captured, tortured, and killed by Nardong Pudic and his men. The incident sealed Pudic's fate, angered by the heinous crime. NBI director Jolly Bugarin ordered all his agents to capture dead or alive Nardo and all responsibility for the death of agents Domingo and Dayao. NBI agent Epimaco Epi, Velasco was then installed as the new chief of the NBI Narcotics Division. In a month's time, they were able to record the movements of Nardong Pudic. Later, with enough data, they were able to track his full whereabouts confidently to enable them to launch the operation to capture him on October 10, 1971. The operation which was a joint NBIPC emis police force was composed of some 20 men. Troopers from the 233rd PC Company were led by Captain Manuel Bruin. At 5 o'clock in the morning, the light of the house of the mistress of Nardo went out. After a few minutes, Nardo drives his Chevrolet Impala car out to the main Manila Cavite Highway. For unknown reasons. Or maybe Nardong Pudic senses that he is being tailed by the Philippine Constabulary, he was able to escape the PC dragnet or checkpoint at Panamathan and Talon, Kawit, Cavite. However, Nardong Pudic did not notice a Volkswagen Combi tailing him on the highway at the same time. The Combi contained NBI agents Velasco, Nassal, Utico, Bautista and others. They chased Nardo's car, and at Navaleta Cavite, they were able to overtake the Impala and were on the right side of the car. Velasco shouted, Nardo! 
He sensed the danger and immediately reached for his .45 pistol. At that moment, the NBI agents opened fire with their revolvers, carbines, and submachine guns, peppering the car and causing Nardo's instant death. The agents then immediately jumped out of their vehicle and took cover. Some agents were still firing their guns to make sure that Nardo will not retaliate. The Impala was later hauled into NBI headquarters in Manila, with the dead Pudic inside, in full view of director Bugarin. The news became a flash report on local television. And a top newspaper story the next day. That mission cemented the fame of Agent Velasco, who later became NBI director in the 90s.